Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today we finally got some news on a lot of questions we've been asking about Infinite Warfare for the past couple of months here since the game has been released. And uh, obviously one of them is the leaderboards feature and combat record, which have been missing from the game since launch. And uh, every time as of lately, the only answer we've been getting is it's coming soon, it's on the way, etc. But over on Reddit, Ashen is Vulcan, who is the community manager for Infinity Ward, posted a thread discussing the state of the Call of Duty community. And uh, overall, just updating us on a lot of features on the game that's going to be coming on the way and a bunch of other stuff like that. So I want to talk about that with you guys for just a couple of seconds here. And uh, yeah, obviously one of them, like I said, is the leaderboards feature and combat record feature and also emblem editor. And these three things were literally the first thing that was discussed in the thread. So Ashen says that leaderboards will roll out by the end of the month and emblem editor and combat record will follow next month in February. So that's really good news to hear. At least now we have a timetable for all three of these features. Uh, they were all pretty much core features in every Call of Duty game and it was kind of sad that Infinite Warfare didn't have these three on launch but uh, yeah they are going to be coming either within this month and also next month as well so uh, that's really good news to hear and they also wanted to discuss that they are going to be working with a lot of pro players and competitive players to basically just increase the overall excitement for the game and the competitive aspect of the game so that's really good news to hear as well and I've seen over on Reddit and Twitter and uh, also in the YouTube live streams that the developers do a lot of people have been asking for a competitive playlist that's just pure CWL rules with no weapon variants and just basically just game battles like a whole entire playlist dedicated to game battles and I really hope some of the pro players bring that up in their discussion about the game like like I said that's really something that we've all been wanting in Infinite Warfare so I really do hope that's something they bring up and discuss with the developers and maybe it will come soon but yeah in the thread they do go on to say that tactical TDM will be uh, will be a staple within Infinite Warfare it's not going to be leaving and that's really good to hear I love tactical TDM and I really do hope that they add some more tactical game modes to this playlist like I really do think a tactical s &D or maybe a tactical domination would be great for uh, for the game as well. A lot of people are, are kind of getting bored of tactical TDM, you know, because you just basically pretty much kill people. There really isn't an, an objective, so I really think a, a tactical domination, a tactical SD would be really great for us to have. And then moving on the thread, they kind of talk about some information that's really not too interesting, but if you guys want to go check it out yourself, I have a link in the description to the entire post. Uh, but yeah, they basically go on to say that they are going to be doing a lot more live streams and showcasing some of the behind the scenes stuff with the game. And they also inform us that they too are playing the game and they are are aware of, of any exploits in the game and that they're working hard to fix anything that comes that that shouldn't be in the game such as glitches and pretty much that's all they talk about for the exploits and glitches side of the game and then they're going to say that the new DLC sabotage is going to come out on the 31st so they do kind of promote that a little bit if you guys want to read more to that again you can find it down in the description and then they tell us that they want us to keep on interacting with the team and letting them know what we like to see in the game and how we how they can make it better and uh, the way we can tell them is via Twitter and of course on Reddit here but if I can get you guys uh, you know to kind of hear me out for just a Second. Some of the hate and the negativity that I see towards the developers for Infinite Warfare is uh, something that really kind of bothers me a lot because I really think that, you know, it's unnecessary hate towards these people. Like, it's not like they're purposely making the game bad so, uh, you know, they could kill the Call of Duty franchise. You know, that's just not what they're doing. And I really think we all need to do a better job of being respectful and asking for what we want in the game. You know, like I said, it's not like we're they're purposely making the game bad for a reason. And uh, yeah, I really think that we just need to go about asking for what we want the right way and just being respectful over on Twitter and Reddit. So I don't know. That's just my take on this, guys. I'm trying to, you know, just make the community a little bit better. I really don't like to see so much hatred and fighting and negativity towards the developers. And I really do think the developers, the players, and of course, as YouTubers need to unite as one to kind of uh, revive the Call of Duty franchise, if you will. Like, I know it's not what it used to be back in the day, but it could possibly be better than that. And like I said, we, we all really need to just unite as one and uh, just revive the Call of Duty franchise as a whole. I have so much love for this game. And uh, like I said, to see so much negativity towards the developers and just over on the community really does second me. But that's for another video. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not like they're purposely making the game bad for us players. And I know that they're working really hard to make this game better every single day. So uh, that's really good to hear. And uh, so yeah, moving on, they do talk about the key glitches that went on a couple of weeks ago during the uh, 25 days of Christmas holiday event. They do say that there might be some more punishments to these players within the next couple of weeks here. So uh, if you did the glitch, you know, be mindful of that. You might get some more punishments such as an inventory reset or possibly even worse. So just uh, keep keep uh, checking up on some updates for that. But yeah, keep you guys posted on anything about that. Anything that I hear, I make sure that you guys know. But yeah, guys, these are just a couple updates we have for Infinite Warfare. I'm pretty sure that 
that the developers are going to be doing this pretty much every single month and I really do hope that they do because it really is nice to have the game developers interact with the community more. I, I'm a really huge supporter of that, just interaction between the devs and the fans and uh, yeah, I really do like that a lot. But tell me what you guys think about this guys down in the comments, also drop a like if y'all did enjoy and uh, thank you for watching. I'm a very rest of the day, till next time, I'll catch you guys later.